Hey guys, I just wanted to make this video today to show you how you can better compare logs with yourself uh, that it will be more accurate and more reasonable. I've been coming to realize that a lot of people actually don't know this method. When I ask anybody to compare their own logs with others, they're thinking I'm telling you to go compare logs on the top 100 clears, which that's, that's not what I'm asking you to do. It's not reasonable, but there is better ways of finding people that better match your performance. What we're going to do is I'll, I'll show you you both damage and healing. Let's go ahead and do glicks because that one is something we already went over together. I'm gonna go ahead and go to compare and select myself because I do this a lot so it's already automatically selected to compare myself. So let's go ahead and do glick, damage, and then if, again this in it, when you open logs it will be on the compare. Do not do compare report and then click search. There's more detailed stuff here. So you can actually narrow it down. All right. And you can also do the limit the raid size to be no different than two players. That is very, very good. So definitely either reduce it or keep it the same, but don't make it bigger. You don't want the discrepancy to be higher. You could also keep the item level similar. So here with Glick, I collect his matches. So he has a few matches that he can search through. Uh, usually I stick to 70% and up. You can of course go lower. Uh, that doesn't hurt to have more log comparisons. I will look at like all of the 70% and higher to see what I can improve on. And generally speaking, I do typically not click on the highest damage dealers. So I'm going to actually stick on strong strongle and see what's going on here to see if anything could be improved or if there is anything that's wrong. Like Glick has known his rotation. He's actually really good. You know, there, there's not really too much that anybody could really complain about Glick. He's, he's good at what he does. So here, when I trimmed it down, it looks like his imp is doing 75 casts, whereas the other guy, Strungles, imp is doing 94. And you're like, wow, why is his imp casting more? Well, it's because this guy has more haste. So the casts of your imp can scale with your haste. So because he has two times, well, actually more than two times, but you, you get the gist. Glick needs more haste. So that's basically like when I showed him how to cross compare logs and improve, uh, he actually thought it was useful because he didn't know he needed way more haste than he has currently and less mastery. He uh, found this to be very valuable and you can do it too. Again, I would recommend just like clicking on a bunch of different uh, logs to see like how everybody is just maintaining their open windows and such as the other like it's it's very it's very straightforward should you have any questions of like when they set up and when they hold or if they if they even are active during a certain point it just logs are very useful especially since you can click on replay you can see where they're positioning it's it's insane like it's r really good information so I'm done with glicks compare let's go do me just because like I'm a healer let's do default default metric, everything is going to be the same. And this is of course a wipe. It will be different on kills uh, because obviously things should be generally more smoothed out. I just wanted to have an example. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the matches at the top. So here we have um, Tim Prist. I can actually, let, let me just open a few just so that you guys get, get an idea. So I'll do these two. So here we have our things here. So obviously their spirit shells are more frequent, but let's go ahead and trim that down. It looks like they also did a sit down during this time period to drink because that's usually like it's when this time is usually when we come down from first phase to be directly in second phase. So me and the other priest did sit down to drink. This is what our spirit shells are looking at. They have about 0.4 million more than me. So there's some more to improve. So it looks like here my timing window for spirit shell is too early. So I need to wait a couple seconds and then do my ramp up here. And I'm sure I can maybe get a little bit more spirit shell healing here. It looks about right here. You can even see cast. So they cast two more radiances. I'm not sure. Hang on, let me like flip this a little bit more. See what happened. Nope, it's still the same. I didn't know if like maybe they casted another. Let's actually check out their team. So here they actually have like similar, uh, they, they have the same covenant. They're even doing the same soul bind as me. Like that's so cool. Like I get to see that. That's nice. And then I can actually click these off and I can check out what they're running. So it's, if you're very like, uh, 
And if you think it's very important to see what kind of like composition people are running, uh, you can always do this. We did end up setting a few people, like Blue Lamp wasn't in the uh, later polls. They do have similar item level and similar size group. It is going to be a little bit different, of course, but you could also uh, just open each log and see which one is the closest compositional wise. But mostly it's about targeting you and the person that you're trying to essentially emulate, but it is extremely useful, it's especially if you're trying to see what, let, let's say you're, you're just like Glick, your rotation's perfect, right? Your rotation's perfect, there's nothing you need to work on. And it, it was just as simple as him saying, oh, well, they're doing more damage because they have nearly three times my, uh, my haste. And that might actually help you a whole lot. So I definitely recommend using the compare section. Let's not do mythic because there's not a whole lot. Let's do heroic. There's a whole lot in heroic. Just to show you another example of what I'm trying to demonstrate here, let's go ahead and go to Animosity. You can see the item level is 202. Um, you know, they're, they're doing, you know, they're okay. So let's go to Compare. Let's go do Animosity and you can do the default, similar, do do do, searching. All right, so let's get a match going. So. Here we have actually two people that are 75 and of course stick around the 70% so that you have someone that is accurate to you. So here we have a 4,800 DJ Kooks and you can just basically see what they're doing differently, which is a lot, it's a lot differently. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's just very useful, especially since you can see like gear. Item level, like literally, like right here, it's similar item level. And you can see that they have the same soul bind, same covenants. Uh, obviously, the gear is going to be different, but you can see that they have different talents that they're running, probably because uh, I have no idea. I don't know much about Monk, but maybe dancing of Chi Ji is better than Jade Wind. That's basically what I do. It's very useful for healers, that's why I do it all the time. But with DPS, it is also just as useful just to see what else you could be doing to maybe improve on your damage or just your understanding of what you're looking for for gear or what you should be running. Um, I hope this helps uh, understand, uh, gives you a better understanding of what I, what I mean by compare your logs with other people and that it, it's not just me telling you to go to the front page <laughs> like it's not helpful like this does not help if you go to disc priest and healing on mythic like this doesn't help i mean i'm sure there's information that i can pull out such as such as timings and setups that i can actually utilize but this is generally not as helpful as the match like matching to who what you're playing is way more helpful than just going to the front page. This is this does not help you as DPS like at all. This barely even like helps as healers just because healing comps could be different. Heal they could be running less healers. Um, it could be like just a, a number of things that are different. But when you narrow it down to like match percentiles, it actually finds you people that are way more reasonable for you to follow or at least use as a resource. That's basically what this is it's a, i i really think uh warcraft logs is a valuable resource especially when you're using it to just like analyze your logs it's just especially with people that are just in your percentile it just i, I highly recommend it it's insane try it at least try it it might help you it helped me it helped click so far and uh, a lot of people don't know about this so i hope it helps you uh yeah stay safe out there and I hope y'all raid together soon.